Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTix.com. Got something fun for you today. You remember the Z Blaze B Talk apple size shape looking smartwatch that we reviewed a while back? Well, they've come out with something bigger, better, greater, and lighter. The Z Blaze B Talk Lite has hit the market, and this puppy is actually. I think better than the original. Usually you give something up when you get a light, but in this time you get more. We got a box full of stuff. Before I take you deeper into it, let's talk about the Z Blaze official store over on AliExpress. That's where all these puppies are. You can just roam through all the different watches and there are so many. Look at the price here. We're getting down around 20 bucks for a really nice Bluetooth calling 1.83 inch smartwatch there you go that uh is thin it's light and it's got a little knob on the side that's about the only difference a button on the original well there's a lot more difference under the hood in terms of the operating system which i guess we'll talk about right now you're looking at 100 plus sports modes 200 plus watch faces a uh, 240 by 285 pixel uh screen the standard sensors um, your heart rate blood oxygen uh, blood saturation things like that but they're displayed differently because we're using uh, the defit app on this one which is a bit better i think overall and how it works with your data you got up to 14 days of typical use seven days standby continuous voice calling uh, charge time of about an hour and a half and it's ip68 waterproof here's some of the features the themes you've got health monitoring daily smartwatch features we're going to look at all this stuff in detail but just to show you the spec info there you go the languages that are supported it's basically plastic buckle stainless steel it's a lightweight light um everything including light priced watch all right let's take a look it just sits in a little plastic sleeve here it's really something you just pick up on your way out of the store kind of thing take off the cover you see it's nice and seamed together you got the speaker on this side microphone over here for your overall bluetooth calling removable bands and like i said a little twisty knob on the side which really doesn't function it's just there you got the b talk light users manual it goes into some of the details again the positioning to get your best heart rate information the qr code for the dufit app but again we recommend you go directly to the google play store or use the link in the show notes that'll take you over there how to change the buckle some more safety precautions on this one the basic specs and that's it we're into other languages it is charged with a little two pin connector across the back that uh it's fairly lightweight it doesn't actually hold the watch and it's a lightweight watch so at night make sure you don't get it kind of off at an angle make sure you're making good contact and you're seeing that it's charging on the screen other end plugs into a usb let's take a look at it so upon turning it on first thing you'll notice is it's got some interesting upgraded uh watch faces to it from the original uh b talk it gives you your z ablaze logo and then pops you into the first face i love this one so one i use it's the hour in a very colorful uh, analog design or digital design with the analog uh, faces and your heart rate and date on there what else are you going to need right swipe down you got your do not disturb when you enact that it'll uh, block out your calls and all of those things uh, you've got brightness level and i'm on the lowest setting for the review there is brightness and all the way up and it just it would wash everything out oh it does go lower look that's all the way down wow all right we're going to review it about that level this is a battery saving thing. At first I looked at it and went, oh no, the battery's dead, I gotta charge it. But no, that's your battery level monitor. This is for going into your overall power savings. So it's different than the do not disturb. Got those features. Here is something where you can add e-cards in the app. Uh, here's your phone calling that activates it so you can connect to your phone for phone calling. And then your overall settings for the display where you control the brightness again, your sleep timeout up to 30 seconds and as low as five. And uh, 
your overall watch faces, which we'll show you in a minute. Menu selections now. I typically show the apps in the linear type like this, list view they call it, but you also can show grid view. You won't see the titles. You have parallel, so that's a little bit different layout. You have surface, where you can move them around, but they kind of hang out in the middle there. There's a crescent, which is just the apps going around like a crescent moon arrangement. Full moon, like a sideways crescent. You got the helm. And, of course, honeycomb, the apple style that goes in there. And we're back to list view. And again now, the side knob is not controlling anything. Unfortunately, that would be nice. It's just uh, for show and, a, and acts as a button. Then uh, you get into all of our apps, which is where we are right there. That came uh, from where we were in settings. So I don't want to get us too confused. Swiping up gets you into messages sent from your phone, if you have any. Clicking to the left gets you into this overall area where your most frequent things are here. And, of course, you can tap here and go into your overall apps as well. And, of course, we can rotate this way by going over into overall activity for your day, step count, calories burned, distance traveled, when in the day those steps happen, your last seven-day record, all of that's maintained in here. you got heart rate now. You land in here and tap it. It'll start taking a heart rate. It's showing you your continuous heart rate and where you are currently in your heart rate. So if you're really working out, you can monitor by color the zone that you're in. Land here, you get into blood pressure. You can see your last seven uh, data records on here. And of course, this is also going to be in the app when you are over there. Blood oxygen, same way. By the way, when you trigger blood oxygen, it's using the green diode technology. Did you see it there? It just flashed for a second. Um, red is a little bit better, but... It's just giving you uh, data. Here's your last night's sleep time. Now, I don't have anything to report to you on here, but it does show you the breakdown of your sleep and uh, shows it to you overall. Then there's your weather in whatever city you choose and whatever uh, unit you want. We've got uh, Fahrenheit and with a forecast on it. So that's pretty nice. And that you set up in the app. And then you can add more. You've got your calling information, if you're planning on doing that. You've got your workout stuff, if you want that. If you're going to use this as a trigger for a camera, you've got a music player. All these different additional cards you can put in here. Even a game or the calculator. Not often you can put a calculator in and just swipe over to it. But here you go. And it's a nice one, too. And it has percentages. Look at that. 5% shows you where you're at. Nice. Okay. So some of the apps are being shown here as we go around, and then uh, you can keep adding more and more and more till you have several of them up there. Let's run through the uh, uh, watch faces. This is that first one, very colorful. Here's another one that's kind of a city with a digital time on it. Uh, here's another one with uh, using uh, the edge-to-edge -edge capability of this watch to an advantage. It shows you how big the overall screen is. Really nice on that. Here's a bright white one with more information. This is on its almost lowest setting, and look how washed out that is. Very bright watch. Very nice. Uh, this has got a little bit of fun to it if you want just a pizzazz at night. That's a good one for in the evening to run around with. Another little digital one. Another one. Here's one with uh, soccer. This, this is one I downloaded from within the app. And um, yeah, you're going to see that here in just a little bit. Okay, let's come over here and go into the overall apps and check it out. We've got activity, which is our basic step count. Calling is right here. You turn it on and then you get access to all of your calling information. We're going to skip all of that because generally these things have improved so much that we don't really need to do the auto de audio demos on, on them anymore. Here's our heart rate. We saw that. Last night's sleep, blood pressure, blood oxygen, exercise now. These are the different exercises that come with it. And there, as you saw, there's like 200. So it goes and goes and goes. And you can still add more and more and more. Lots of uh, exercise capabilities. And your records are maintained here. Then there's the weather, your messages, the shutter. We saw that. The music player. You do have the relaxation for when you're stressed. You can set that up or 
when you're falling asleep. You can set that up and they work differently. That's new. That's a little bit more of an enhancement. Your AI voice, that's the Siri or the uh, Google uh, response, depending on which phone you're a uh, paired to. Overall alarms, you've got a stopwatch in here that locks you up. You can't do anything with it. You can do lap count, but you literally have to stop it to be able to get out of it. Your cycle tracking, ladies, when you set that up in the app, this will tell you where you are in your overall cycle and the date. And then, of course, find your phone. The games, this is a little floppy game, and we've seen that, right? You're trying to keep the bird aloft. Oh, look at that. Okay, we can run through a variety. We got floppy, uh, 2048, battleship, hamster, and floppy again. Okay. And after games, we've got a calculator, which we already saw, and then your settings, which we've gone into. Oh, not all of them we have. We just went into display. Vibration ring, you can have that. You can have your intensity from soft to strong. Lots of capabilities. Audio Bluetooth will turn on after you turn on the phone capability, meaning that you've Bluetooth tethered the watch to the phone for audio connectivity. Different than Bluetooth tethering for the, uh, the tracking app uh, and, and such. DNS, do not disturb mode, your low power mode. We, we touched all of those on the pull down menu. There's your phone on and off. Phone reset will reset everything for your phone. Then there's your system for restarting the watch, powering off, or resetting it. Factory restore, basically. Uh, restart is just rebooting. And then about it, we are looking at version B Talk Lite, the basic information you need. And here's the QR code to download the DeFit app, which looks like this. Now, with the B Talk Lite, we switch back to DeFit. It's a different app than the original B Talk. And there's a big difference in what you're seeing. So, Sometimes it's the app itself that will help you decide which to buy. There's only a few dollars difference, so compare the app review in the B-Talk with the one you're about to see with the Fit. This is uh, the Google Play Store listing of it. Duh Fit's how you spell it. When you get it installed, uh, you open it up, you set up an account, you tether the watch to it, and you land into this opening page. Now, you've got several cards here, um, very informative. You've got steps, sleep heart rate, continuous heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, and some outdoor activities. And you can do more training by going into here and get your incremental stuff throughout the, uh, the days and the different uh, activities you've done. So let's start at the top. In steps, you jump in, you get your total step count, day, week, month, miles equivalent, um, minimum minutes of this and a chart showing you the activity the last seven days performance and so forth pretty basic kind of stuff in the last night's sleep time you get a colorful chart shows you the overall time and the breakdown in deep light and rapid eye movement which not all of these watches are able to do especially the inexpensive ones so that's an enhancement the fact that you can get rim uh uh sleep time shown on it as well as on the chart itself that's the time that you supposedly are in your dream state your eyes are fluttering right and an overall sleep quality score and it'll tell you about that then it's also tracking your heart rate all night long giving you your highest and lowest beats per minute and your average and your last seven days trend will be there and how you size up to other people in all of these things related to getting up early, sleeping less, and so forth. A lot of good detail there and big data comparisons to how you are with others. By the way, if you tap up here, you can go into any of the days and see the data uh, from previous days. That's how you go back and forth. So we are in the sleep tab. We're going to go into heart rate now. Now this is instantaneous heart rate. Um, this is not continuous, but it shows you your last seven individual readings, not at a specific time, but just in rank order of when you did it. When you tap to measure, it'll immediately go in there, and it doesn't take very long at all on this one. Some of them, they go for like 30 seconds or even a minute, average it all out, and you might get a more accurate 
representation of your heart rate by doing that. But this one jumps in relatively quickly. It's giving us uh, in the 60s here. You see the last one was 83. So we let it go until it vibrates, and then that'll lock that one in. It just did. It stopped. There's the heart rate, and that's what you'll see on the instantaneous heart rate chart. The continuous one now, that's different. That's right here, and we don't see anything on it, but you actually see the, the data, but no calibration on the side. So it's more of an indicator if you see any rises uh, or falls. It's all day been in the light zone, 15 hours so far, hasn't gone up much higher um, in higher categories. Even though I did some workouts today and had a relatively high heart rate, uh, it's still registering it as all in just basically the entry level. Blood pressure and blood oxygen work pretty much the same way. They give you an instantaneous measurement and your last seven recorded. It'll show you the date and time, I guess, if you touch on them, and it'll show you the uh, actual value down below it. When you touch measure and you have the watch around, it'll flip over into it. So if you are remotely measuring in another room, somebody convalescing with COVID and they're wearing the watch, it will give a subtle vibration and light up the screen when it's uh, doing its reading. And that's something to know whether you want them to know that you're monitoring or not. Well, you are, and they'll be able to see it. Some of them do it in the background, and the watch doesn't doesn't wake up at all. This one, it does. Okay, 107 over 76. Double check if that seems like a reasonable value before you take it as an actual value that you could uh, do anything with. Blood oxygen, exactly same thing. You get the last seven trends. Tells you a little bit about it. You can measure it. It switches over to blood oxygen. Again, you saw how relatively fast it is. I'm able to basically describe it, and by the time I'm done talking about it, we've got a value up there. That value stays for a moment, and then it vibrates, and it uh, stops, and it did just now. So it's 99, and look at all of them. They're, they're way up there, 97, 98, 99. Uh, so it's giving you on the high side of blood oxygen. Really only looking if you're having some serious problems that would fall off of that. And again, outdoor uh, activity, GPS available when you activate it from your phone and where you watch, you can get the integrated overall uh, fitness information, including the GPS track on a map on the app itself. So that's the overall information here. The watch is the Beat Talk Lite. Couple of things you want to know in here. You get your uh, battery level, of course, and the different watch faces. And uh, we've seen all of the different stock ones. I can come in here and find watch faces out of their store. So just to give you a glimpse of what they look like, they're colorful. There's a lot of different ones added. Looks like the summertime theme is coming in. We had the New Year's uh, celebration theme earlier. So they're constantly updating these. Looks like some Christmas ones are still left over in here and so forth. But you see the size and shape is contoured to fit the particular watch. And uh, these are different depending on which watch you're wearing. So it's downloading the source file to the watch. And this is what it looks like on it. And there it is. Look how colorful. Yep, really nice screen on this one. So that's the watch faces. You have notifications, alarms, the remote shutter, of course, for uh, using your camera with it. You can set up your e-cards, contacts for the blue, uh, Bluetooth calling, uh, other information in here, your basic time and units and do not disturb, all the standard stuff that you see. You can have five-minute increments for your continuous heart rate detection or fewer in between if you don't really need to have it that often and you'll get longer battery life. So that's a nice trade-off there. Considering how tight that chart was, honestly, I'd say do it every 30 minutes. Give that a try. If you need it more frequent, you can. You have a battery saver mode here. Your language uh, selections are here. And uh, it's a short list, but there they are. Um, the, the auto lock, that's your twist your wrist to show the time. Will uh, or, or actually touching it and going into a mode will cause the watch to stay on for a minimum of five seconds and a maximum of 30. 
You can reset the watch and everything from there. And then, of course, the last tab is where you set up your profile goals, tie it to Google Fit if you want, and about. And that's the DeFit app, which could be a determining factor of whether or not this watch is for you based on if you like the way the data is represented. And if you do like this one, you can pick it directly uh, up from um, ZBlaze at their official store, on AliExpress. And we've got a link in the show notes for you. And at its regular price, it's 22 bucks. And I'm looking forward to having a coupon discount for you as well to bring it down. Pretty much sure we can get it under $20. 20 bucks for a nice watch like this that does all these features and has Bluetooth calling built into it. 200 some odd watch faces to choose from. It's a pretty good deal if you want a nice and expensive watch to play with. Alrighty, gang, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.